In this video, we're going to talk about the if and con structures in Scheme, and we'll talk about which one is better to use. So the if form has this structure where we say if, then we give it a Boolean condition, and then we have two forms after that. The first form, we evaluate if the condition is true. The second form, we evaluate only if the condition is false. So you can sort of think of this as if, then, and else. And just like in if else, we have two conditions. Now, a cond form also lets us evaluate a condition and then do something based on the result. However, cond allows us to have multiple conditions. So we have some condition, and then we have a form to evaluate if that condition is true. And then we can also have a default condition, an else case, or an always true case, and that gets evaluated if none of the previous conditions get held. Now, this is different from a switch statement in C or Java, because if a condition holds, it evaluates the form, and then it exits. There is no additional evaluation if other conditions are true. So you could put a, the most limiting condition first, then the next, and so forth, and only one condition would ever hold for a given con structure. So here we've seen two conditional statements, and the question is always, which is better, if or con? And the reality is, it doesn't matter. Pick whichever one you like, or use whichever one is best suited for what you're trying to do. Now here's an example where we have two cases, and an if structure fits that best. We have a condition, and then we have a then case and an else case, depending on whether or not the condition is true or false. So here's an example of cond with three cases. Notice here we have our cond statement, and then we have a condition less than n, in which case we evaluate this form. If the remainder of n divided by 2 is equal to 1, meaning n is odd, then we add 1 to n, and then otherwise we just return n. So here we have three conditions, and a cond works well there. However, going back to our original case, there's no reason we can't use a cond if there's just two cases. Here we have a cond with one condition, something to evaluate if that's true, and then we have our else case. So a cond with just two conditions, perfectly acceptable. Same thing with multiple conditions. Here we have our cond again, but notice here's an if statement that has another embedded if statement as part of its else. So we evaluate this form if this condition is true, this form if this condition is true, and then finally in the default, our else case, we just evaluate in. And so that's a quick comparison of if and cond. Again, use whichever one makes sense. Typically, if there's more than three conditions, I'll use cond, and I'll use if if there's just two conditions, and if there's three conditions, I may use one or the other, just depending on what I feel makes the most sense for what I'm trying to do.